Greetings YouTube, this is Rhett at Rolling Forward and today I'd like to talk with a little more detail about my wheelchair. Um, again I want to refresh you uh, that we've started these videos at a very superficial level really and that's on purpose uh, to you know try to describe uh, the bigger picture aspects of my life uh, from a pretty superficial uh, perspective and as we move forward we'll drill down to more and more detail in different areas um, and that'll be guided to large, large extent by what you uh, give me in feedback through comments and questions so let's start from the top down uh, talking about my wheelchair and you can clearly see my headrest and this black uh, thing next to my head. Well, this black thing, uh, sometimes called an egg switch, it's simply a, an electrical switch and it allows me to control uh, my ability to tilt the wheelchair backwards, which I do regularly throughout the day um, as uh, help to prevent pressure sores. Now we have not yet spoken about pressure sores, but they are a major topic of life uh, with spinal cord injury. And if you noticed, I push the switch once with my head, the chair goes back, I release, pause for a second, and I can just bring the chair back. Now the the chair will tilt uh, quite a bit back, about to a 45 degree angle, and that puts uh, my weight more primarily on my back, and it takes weight off of my butt. Because sitting uh, for an extended period without moving uh, can cause uh, insufficient blood flow to parts of your skin, uh, causing big problems. And so that's. Uh, and we will definitely pursue that in much more detail in the future. Uh, next, my chin control. Um, a power wheelchair, an electric wheelchair, is typically controlled by a joystick, although due to technology, there are now many uh, more options uh, for people with very limited uh, movement. Uh, you can use your eye movements to control a chair, use your breath to control a chair, use very small tongue switches to control a chair. I use a chin control and a basically standard joystick. So again, when I want to maneuver my chair, go to the left, push to the left, go to the right, push to the right, go forward, push forward, go backwards, pull it back. Um, this is a variable speed control depending upon how much you push the switch forward or backward or sideways. I can go um, as slow as one mile an hour um, continuously. Uh, this chair uh, has a top speed of about eight miles an hour. That's pretty fast for a wheelchair and it's very helpful to me um, if I want to roll downtown or walk downtown, as I would pretty much say. Um, it's very nice to go seven and a half, eight miles an hour. Um, it, it makes it a quick trip to roll downtown the three quarters of a mile, give or take, that it is. Anyway, it allows me to get around faster when the surface is smooth. If it's bumpy, I can't go that fast because me and the chair are bouncing around, so I'm forced to go more slowly. Uh, next, my lap board, or desk, or different terminology um, is prevalent, certainly. And I use this for several purposes. One to rest my arms on. My arms are paralyzed. They gotta be somewhere, and they can rest comfortably here. They can also help me be more stable, sitting up straight, and not flopping around left and right and forward. Um, and my arms are comfortable here. I also put uh, uh, books I can carry 
uh, items in the grocery store, and so on. It's a, it's a functional surface that I use. Uh, next is my mouth stick, which we have not yet um, discussed at all, I think. It is a big deal to me. It is literally a stick that goes in my mouth, hence its name, mouth stick. With this, I can operate my telephone, I can turn light switches off and on, I can uh, push rather firmly on doors and things like that. Um, I can use a computer keyboard uh, with my mouth stick, and it's, it's just generally very helpful. Um, there's also a pen on the end, which I used to use quite a bit as technology has continued to advance. More and more things are electronic, and I rarely uh, you know, use a manual signature anymore, um, but I can. And then it's near and handy, sometimes too near. Um, nevertheless, it was a great innovation for me and for people with very limited arm movement as mine. Also, uh, next to my mouth stick is a cup holder. Um, this cup holder uh, is made to be able to tilt. So when I am tilting back my wheelchair, uh, it's on a, a gimbal, but the cup can remain vertical and not spill hot tea or coffee on me, or cold beer, uh, whatever. Um, but it allows me to drink, maintain my hydration, uh, important for my bladder health, kidney health, skin health, adequate hydration is a good thing. Uh, you saw briefly there my phone holder, also on my lap board. Uh, right now, the telephone is not in it at this moment, as my wife is holding my phone and filming this episode. But uh, that holds my phone in a precise location that is easily reachable uh, by me with my mouth stick, and not too high, not too low, not too close, not too far, just right. And it allows me to use the phone and the various functions of the device. And also really handy and also a big safety measure. Uh, there are limited uh, voice options on the phones of today, uh, which I do use. And again, that's a subject of voice control of the environment that we will address in the future. Um, the armrests, uh, which on my chair support the lap board, and I don't really put my arms directly on the armrests. I put my lap board on the armrests and my arms on the lap board. They are adjustable in height, up and down. Um, once they're set, at least in my case, they typically are not adjusted once they were placed in the right position. <laughs> the leg rests on the wheelchair. Um, obviously support my feet and legs. And they too are very adjustable such that my feet are positioned comfortably. Uh, my knees are not too high so the weight of my body is distributed not just on my butt, but also on the back of my uh, thighs to help distribute the weight, to help uh, avoid pressure sores. And again, in the future, we will go into great depth on the relationship of sitting position and pressure sores. <clears throat> the seat itself, um, the, the seat height, how far up my back it goes uh, was uh, determined through trial and error and adjustments to provide adequate support, not too encompassing, uh, not too low, uh, just to uh, support me adequately 
but not too rigidly i sit on a seat cushion specifically designed for my butt to help distribute the weight to avoid pressure sores and that's going to be a big topic pressure sores when we get to that uh, in detail finally uh, this this is a power wheelchair or electric wheelchair it has big motors big batteries and it is really heavy and really powerful now the motors can be easily engaged or disengaged when they're disengaged I cannot drive the chair but someone can push the chair <coughs> while it's very heavy uh, the ball bearings are very good and the chair can be pushed but it's it's hard because it's so heavy but it can be done um, when the motors are engaged I can control them with my chin control and go fast or slow left or right as I've said um, the batteries they are just like big car batteries same type of battery but they're uh, longer life deep cycle batteries there are two 12 volt batteries they're big and they're heavy and between the motors and the batteries um, there's a lot of weight involved the wheels and tires um, I have chosen <coughs> to not have inflated wheels or inflated tires um, inflated tires do give you a certain cushioning over small bumps and so on but you're subject to flats um, which I used to have and became frustrated so now I use solid foam filled uh, wheels or tires I should say and in my case uh, my wheelchair is called a rear wheel drive there are also front wheel drive and mid wheel drive chairs we can talk about those again in more detail in the future and there's some subtle differences that are quite significant really in a typical day of maneuvering through the world um, I think that's about it um, as far as my chair goes at this point if you want more detail about this particular topic or any particular topic if you have any questions that we've not gone anywhere near please let me know you guys in the comments below and um, I think at this point I'll just say uh, thank you for watching um, please do click uh, subscribe and like and ciao